The following segment is sponsored by Blueprint Medicines. Unpredictable, reoccurring, and unexplained symptoms such as stomach issues, fatigue, or rashes could be signs of a rare disease that may not be on your radar. The rare disease is called systematic mastocytosis, or SM for short, and often people who have it may be either undiagnosed or misdiagnosed. Here to talk about SM and how people experience this disease are Dr. Patricia Lugar and Christine, who lives with SM. Welcome to the show, both of you. Great to see you. Thank you for having us. Of course. Now, Dr. Lugar, can you explain what systematic mastocytosis SM is and what are the symptoms? Yeah, absolutely. So systemic mastocytosis or SM is a condition where our one of our immune cells called mast cells are altered. And this results in an accumulation of these altered mast cells in many areas of the body. And these altered mast cells release chemicals that cause many symptoms throughout the body, such as hives and flushing, uh, stomach upset, diarrhea, and allergic reactions. Severe allergic reactions such as anaphylaxis occur quite often. Okay, interesting. And Christine, what led to your SM diagnosis? Yes, yeah, so I was first diagnosed, I'm sorry, I was for first experienced anaphylaxis at a very young age. And that was followed by more symptoms such as flushing, hives, uh, stomach issues, and fainting. And my parents had no idea what was wrong with me. Um, then late in my 20s, I started experiencing anaphylaxis on a very frequent basis and would be rushed to the ER. Uh, we had no, you know, my triggers were not identified. We had no idea why this was happening. Mm -hmm. It was a very, very frightening time. Uh, I then went to allergist after allergist, just looking for answers and asking what is wrong with me. Uh, we could figure it out. I eventually was referred to a larger medical facility and there I had tests as well as a bone marrow biopsy and that confirmed systemic mastocytosis and I was very relieved to finally have a diagnosis. And we work with Blueprint Medicines to raise awareness about this disease. Yes, absolutely. Well, I'm glad you finally got that diagnosis. And Dr. Lugar, yes. how is SM usually diagnosed? Diagnosed really through the, the history of where you're putting all those pieces together, where you have the skin, the GI symptoms, and then the allergic reactions. We're really hoping that that will clue uh, healthcare providers um, and even people experiencing it that this could be systemic mastocytosis. And then beyond that, once you're suspicious, there's blood testing and some other diagnostic tests that can very accurately make that diagnosis. Sure. And Dr. Lugar, what other tips do you have really quickly for people living with it? Just keep in touch with your physician and make sure that the treatment plan is right for you. Adjustments to that treatment plan may often have, you know, have to happen and we're just trying to have you optimize your best quality of life. There's a lot more to learn about systemic mastocytosis. I welcome everyone to go to the website, itssomething.com.